Hey everyone, this is Ed with Ed Finds Treasure. The guy in front of me in the bank had uh, $71 and change. So I went ahead and bought that from the bank before they put it away. Along with the $310 in half dollars. But I'm going to just look through these first, see if I can find anything. So all I found in the quarters was a 2009, a couple of new ones, no varieties. No uh, errors. And what is that? A 1995 nickel from three rolls of nickels. But I got three more rolls of dimes. And I believe I've got a silver right in the middle here. Yeah, it is. That's nice. Four rolls of dimes. And I got a 1963. Yeah. Denver. Oh, silver. It was worth picking up. Alright, looks like a dirty one here, but uh, got three more rolls. And then I got a bunch of pennies. Who knows what I'll find? Hopefully, some dimes in the penny rolls. Well, four rolls of dimes, or three rolls, I forget which. Um, found the silver. And this really beat up new dime. Wow. They really massacred it. So, hopefully it'll go through the coin machine. And let's move on to the pennies. Two, four, six, eight, nine rolls. About halfway through these pennies, I got five rolls left. I did find a wheat pack. 1945 Denver. Not in bad shape. A wheaty. I found a Abraham Lincoln uh, legislature or formative years, whatever it is. One Canadian so far. 79. And a beat up penny. Look at that. I don't know what machine or what they did with that, but that is gross. Okay. Moving on. Five more rows. There is wheat back number two. Uh, 1951 Denver. Oh, that's two with three rolls left. Oops. And as they fall out of my hand. There's a good number of copper in here. They're just not separating them today. You never know what you're going to find in customer wrap rolls. Alright. Move on to the last three. All right, wheat pack number three. It's in pretty good shape. Nice look to it. And then it's got a big mark. Oh, a big scratch. 1944 San Francisco. That's too bad. Yeah, someone. Well, the coin's rolling around. It got scratched right above the date. Hmm. Had a little shine from the scratch, but I can't get it to go now. Two more rolls left. Got one roll left, but I just thought I'd take a look at this from here. A bit thinner on the right than thicker uh, rim on the on the left. Not by much, but uh, that's interesting. Would keep it if it had more difference on that. Okay, last roll. Well, of course now I can't get, can't get the pennies out. Looks fine on the other eight. Okay. Like I said, there's a lot of copper. Or almost half each roll. Nothing obvious. I'd love to find another Indian head penny. Nope. That's gonna be it. Not bad though. Three pennies, three wheat three wheaties and a silver dime. I like that. Cool. Alright, we'll see you later.